Yay! Okay, so I was just eating Skittles. <sighs> They're delicious. Um, yeah, I'm way too grown up for Skittles, and yeah, I'm gonna eat them anyways. That's not the point here. The point here is, don't you want some Solo 2 information? Because I know I do. And yes, I did try to give you as much information as humanly possible. But this time, this week, I did it with uh, the computer. I did it to, to directly to the source. You guys wanted to see more about Solo 2? I'm giving you more about Solo 2. So this is an in-depth review. I already like it. So when I'm when I'm saying review, the truth is I already like it. I already know it. I this is my thing. I'm I'm a Solo 2 fan. I'm also a BioFM fan and I'm also a Linktree fan. Just Solo 2 happens to be my favorite and you'll see why. But you'll also see why it may not work for you. And I'm also going to do a video about Linktree and about BioFM separately just the same way. Essentially, I'm on the computer and I'm showing you every aspect from the inside of Solo 2. So you don't have to buy it. Uh, it does cost $15 a month, but you don't have to buy Oh, it's also free. Um, all of them are free. They have the free option or the uh, subscription version. I did the subscription. But you don't have to go and try and create these things just to see which one you like best. Just go ahead and watch this video and you can determine if it's solo too. Um, stay tuned for next week and I'll do, I think next week I'm going to actually do Linktree and then the week after that I'll do BioFM. I have a feeling a lot of people will end up going for BioFM because it has a lot of options and a lot of people will like it. Um, other than that, let's go into solo two, my in-depth review. All right. It's time for some Solo 2 review. Now, I know the first thing you're thinking, or maybe I'm not, maybe I don't know. What I'm thinking you're thinking is, this doesn't look anything too great. It looks pretty basic. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of is basic. It's a little bit more than Linktree in that you're not just adding a link and a thumbnail, but it's also definitely not complicated. And if you're looking for something simple, more professional looking and easy to use, Solo 2 is your answer. So I figure we can start with the main page. The main page is essentially what you would want a main page to be with, or be with, <laughs> be when you're looking to just kind of create um, anything uh, where you get right into it right when you get to that page your editor and that's what you're looking at it's called my page and under my page you have either the editor or previewing what you basically just applied which I really love that aspect because at the end of the day you never really have to wonder what it's going to look like and have to constantly toggle over to another um, page or tab in order to see what it looks like. I know that when I'm working on Weebly, for example, on my website, um, after I press publish, it's going to take me to the actual link um, to see what it's going to look like. And oftentimes that's how I have to see how things work. And there has been a time or two where I did not want it to be a certain way and I had to quickly go and fix it. Um, and then, you know, I'm kind of wondering how it's going to look, how it's going to look. But on Solo 2, you don't have to wonder because that preview right here tells you exactly that. Okay, so let's just go through here real quick. We've got my page, we've got analytics, we've got referrals, we've got account, or just logging out. The account section is where you're going to have you know, if you're going to subscribe, for example. Of course, you have a few more options uh, when you subscribe, um, and that's gonna be for you to decide if you want to subscribe, <laughs> subscribe and pay $15 a month. If that seems like too much to you, um, I get that. You can also use the free version. And typically, the only difference between free and um, subscribing is the amount of links or the amount of embedded options as uh, that you would have. So let's get into that side. And I'll go into analytics and referrals uh, very soon. Okay, we have this first portion right here. 
nothing too uh, complicated. You can add your background. Of course, if you click on that, it brings you into, you know, adding a background from your computer. Um, but you can also um, add, like, you know, something that you get from online or something or create it from Canva or somewhere else, whatever. And you just, again, it's adding it from your computer. But my point is that you don't have to just add a background that is based off of, um, you know, your brand. You can, I guess you would want to do your brand. So what am I saying? D add whatever background you want. Do what you're going to do. Okay, and then you also have the option to upload a photo right here, which I really like. I put myself uh, with my GBR Life shirt um, because GBR Life is me for my good, bad, real life. So it's kind of an awesome thing. Just saying, you should go to GBRLife.com. I'm going to show you all the reasons why right now because my name is GBR Life. The location is GBRLife.com. And who am I? You can read that while I'm talking about this. So there's the option of dark mode. You can do that background image or you can decide not to. And when I decide not to, it brings me to color and you can see that I can just go ahead and change that color. Now one thing to know about this is that if you change the color, you're essentially changing the brand color. And when you do that, it will also change the colors of the links and things like that. So if I leave that there and I go ahead and press save for example, and then I press preview, you'll see that the background is that same color and you'll see that this arrow is the same color as that, that line is the same color as that because, oh, and GBR Life does it all is the same color uh, because it will set all of the same uh, color on your brand together, which I like because it creates uniformity and I'm going to say that's pleasing to the eye and psychologically, they say that too. But if you don't want to do that, then add a background. <laughs> Look at me continuously pressing the same thing over and over again. I meant to go down here and put my background image. And I like the stars. That's just me though. And then there's the option of dark mode. I'm going to go ahead and press dark mode. Press save. Preview. Everything is dark. It's so creepy. It's like you're going into a Halloween haunted house. No, it's not anything like that whatsoever. But it is kind of cool, and some people love dark mode. It looks good on your phone. looks good just in general. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and do the dark mode. Um, it works pretty well. I mean, you can see a lot of things. Of course, you're going to want to keep in mind that some thumbnails may not look good with it. It looks like I, I only really have one thumbnail that just isn't going to work with it. Um, although it does look nice with that night sky. We'll see what I do later on. One day you might look and see, it's dark mode. She decided to keep it. But for now, I'm going to take it off. Save. Preview. No dark mode. You can see everything just the way I like it. Okay, going back to the editor. So that all makes sense. And then you have your branding. I'll take that off. Press save. Go back. And it still pretty much looks exactly the same. It's just a determination if you want that uniformity. And that's what branding really does for you. Okay. Editor, I want that uniformity. I'm pressing it. Okay. Now we have links and embedded. Already, I already have. <laughs> already. <laughs> How many times am I going to say already? I have GBR Life website. I have my vlog. I've got my podcast. And I've got my merchandise. So that's what I want everybody to really know. But if I was on Linktree, and this is the, one of the reasons I like Solo 2, if I was on Linktree, it looks like this, essentially. I mean, ignore this part, and I'll get into that in a second, but it would just look like link, 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 and then that. And to me, that just, it's, it starts to look cluttered, and I didn't like that. But here, because you have the option of doing a link, embedding something, or a section, to me that is a huge deal because you can make it look a little bit better and customize it kind of how you want it. So I did links here. When I added a YouTube link, it automatically added the YouTube symbol. And of course you can still change that YouTube thumbnail into something else as you decide. 
but embedded, um, if anyone doesn't know what in, to embed something is, it's essentially um, just, I, you know what, I'll give you the example of if you're putting like a player in a website or uh, somewhere, you'd want to embed it so that people can play it right there versus giving a link where they're going to bring you to the actual page. Um, and in this case, it's pretty easy to do. It looks almost exactly like uh, the link. Um, so you just click on it and you can either go ahead and add your link if you're going to do link, title it, do your custom subtitle, highlight, make that thumbnail, and then my favorite schedule. And you can schedule for a link, embedding, and section obviously isn't any of those things. It's just creating a section. But for myself, for example, I do blog posts um, five days a week. So I can actually um, schedule um, on here exactly what my link is going to be. And it can turn on and off as I want it to every single day, every single month, every week, however I want to do it. Um, to make sure that uh, people are always able to see the latest and greatest if I want to do that. I don't have that right now, but I'm giving myself ideas. Who knows? Maybe you should come back and check it out. GBRLife.com. Okay. Um, and I'll show you what this, the subtitle looks like. These are the subtitles right there. Parenting hacks, reviews, and so much more. Things like that. Love true crime. Um, and it's quick and simple the way that I like it. It's clean um, and easy to understand. And if that's something you want to do, a person is just going to go in and quickly do that. That's why I like it. It works with the audience. Um, and then you have your embedded option. Pretty much the same thing. It doesn't have the uh, subtitle. And that's obviously because it's like I was saying a music player, You're not really going to subtitle an actual active item that is going to be working on a site so yes it does like look like that link but of course you just put the embedded information and it will go ahead and embed what you added and then you would title what it was and you can schedule see okay delete and then you have your section I like everything to be uniform so I said theme color I want it to have a title, press done, but you don't have to add a title and it would just add a line. And when I go over to preview, you can see this is my section right here. And that is when you press highlight, you want it to highlight something. And so I wanted to make sure that everyone was aware that this is my website. So I told it to highlight and it does this cute jumping highlight of this. And then it doesn't do that over here. Because while I do it all, my vlog, my podcast, and my gear, I really want you to go to my website because you can see all those things in one place and not just go directly to these other places. I know that you also see these right here and I'm actually going to go and talk about that right now. Okay. Your contact buttons. Do you do landscaping? Are you doing customized orders? You might want your email, right? You just go ahead and add that. And you just don't have to like make it complicated for people. There's your email and they can just click on it and then they'll be able to email you. What about your phone number? You can easily do that. That's one of the things I really like. This works for big, big businesses, small businesses, all types of businesses. And then you have your social buttons that I always said I was just going to talk about. Now what I like also is that you can set it to be minimal, colorful, like it says, square, round, like it says, but bigger so, what do you want it to do? Do you want people to just click and go to your site? Go to, um, you know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or Spotify? Or do you want them to one click? And I love that they can one click follow, one click like, one click subscribe. Isn't that what we're all looking for with these things? So that's something I really loved. And then you have the option of putting it on the top or the bottom. I chose the top because it's easy for people to see. Um, and it's not in your face where I have to add a link on each and every one of them. I mean, you do have to add a link here, but I don't have to add a link on each and every one of them 
just to get people to go and look at it. What I mean by that is if I go over to preview, this is not one link that looks like this that I have to put the Facebook and tell you to follow me on Facebook. It's just like it, follow, or subscribe on YouTube. I also have it straight to the vlog here, for example, so you can see that you can do things multiple times, but I was able to give a little bit more information here, and yet it doesn't look cluttered, and that was a huge thing that I keep saying. Okay, last but not least is your integrations. Facebook Pixel is basically analytics, but uh, utilizing Facebook to do that. Um, and then you have your email capture. So if you were going to do that, you can go ahead and add your information and then integrate it into Solo 2. I use MailChimp uh, for my emailing list. Um, if you're a Weebly person, yes, Weebly also has it, but I decided to do MailChimp instead. Um, so you can do MailChimp. Um, you just give the information. Uh, MailChimp works with you and it actually gives you exactly how to, to do it. It's really easy though. You just add in the information, your call to action, your title, and then you press save. You can put it on the top or the bottom. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I had it on the top. Actually, I'll show you first. So I have it on the top right now. All the way back down press bottom save and then you'll see that it will go ahead and push it to the bottom automatically I don't want that though actually so I'm gonna go back down press top and save okay so now let's talk about the analytics a bit the analytics it's very quick and easy to say this so basically what it does is it will tell you how many times someone's been to your page entirely and then it will also tell you how many times somebody clicks on that specific link. So it's pretty easy to understand. Um, and it does that every seven days, every 30 days, every three months, every six months, and then every year. That's how far back you can go. So you can see that 100 people viewed, but only 12 people clicked on your YouTube. And four people clicked on your website, and that was seven days ago. So it helps um, to really get an understanding of what your audience is looking at and what they're doing on your page. Okay, and then my other favorite thing about Solo 2 is that they have referrals. The affiliate program, all you have to do is just put your PayPal information, um, and by information, I mean just your email, and then you basically can promote. Um, I personally only promote things that I like and I like solo too. So that's why I'm doing this video. Um, yes, I decided to do this referral thing, but I actually decided to do that today. I had no idea it even existed. Um, prior to deciding to even do this video, I just really liked it and I decided to do this. So, uh, of course, if you're interested, I have the link below. You can go to solo two and do it yourself. Um, you get 10% of a discount. And of course I get 20% commission. Um, and I really am only doing this because I like it, like I said, but if you don't like solo two, it's not for you. I don't really care not to get this 20% because you're not going to like it. And I don't want you to do anything you don't like. So if this seems to work for you, Hey, go for it. If not, don't and you feel free to click however you feel best through my links through not my links of course i want you to go click on my links though go to gbrlife.com so the two's awesome go to gbrlife.com <laughs> okay so that's basically what the referrals are an account um, Solo 2, just like Linktree and BioFM, they have the paid version and they also have the free version. I am on the paid version. It's $15 a month. Um, but the free version is basically all the same things. The only difference is you are, um, just using less. So they may only allow you to do three links and three embedded, um, versus unlimited or 10 and 10 or something like that. So it's not anything um, too drastically different if you're just doing something very basic. And mine's pretty basic, but I like being able to do as much as I want. I don't want to be held back. Nobody can hold me down. 
Okay, so basically, I think I've gone through pretty much everything you'd really need to know about Solo 2. It's very easy to use, definitely customizable, and it's customizable in the way that I feel is best because it's it's kind of like somebody who um, is wanting to do something in a basic way where you don't have to take the time to really stop and think about it and yet you always look nice clean and professional and again that's really why i like it so if i actually click on that it's copied this is and pasted now this is what my finished site looks like and not my site i'm sorry my solo 2 particular um and you know it's like i said it's clean easy to understand and this right here it's bouncing because it's the highlight um because i want you to go there just like i don't remember if i said that already i may have if i did it is what it is if i didn't isn't that awesome it hops look at that i think i did anyways if you're watching this you should go to this area you should like follow and subscribe if not just like click buttons below and subscribe just saying subscribe subscribe please please <laughs> okay so that's it for my uh vlog this week i'm gonna go ahead and talk about linktree next week in the exact same manner and the week after that i will be showing you biofm inside of the actor's studio that's not true it's not an actress here it's just caitlin and i am telling you the truth inside the gbr life a solo too and but next week it'll be inside the gbr life link tree <laughs> okay i think i'm funny and i'm not so come back keep watching subscribe enjoy and until next week i can't wait to talk to you all bye